There exists a formidable power capable of resurrecting dormant virtues, reconstructing shattered lives, and revitalizing defunct businesses, failed relationships, failed marriages, and many human endeavors. This power is potent enough to fashion new organs, and perform spiritual surgery, bringing about divine reorganization. It embodies the essence of God's might, capable even of reviving lifeless bodies and eradicating every entrenched evil. It possesses the ability to recover lost treasures, reconcile fragmented lives, and restore that which has been laid waste. This enigmatic force, referred to in the scriptures as the power of resurrection, stands unchallenged and unyielding against any opposition. Its supremacy knows no bounds, defying all attempts to subdue or diminish it. Yet, despite its unrivaled authority, many believers remain unaware of its potency, and how to harness it for their benefit. Consider the Apostle Paul, who, after decades of profound spiritual experiences, prayed earnestly to comprehend the power of Christ's resurrection. In Philippians 3 verses 10 to 11, he articulates his desire to know this power intimately, recognizing its transformative potential. So, Paul says, That I may know him, and the power of his resurrection, and the fellowship of his sufferings, being made conformable unto his death, if by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Your life's testimony is poised to birth further testimonies, infused with the resurrection power found in the blood of Jesus. The creative and resurrection power of the Lord, as depicted in John 1 verses 1 to 3, extends to all aspects of existence, from businesses and marriages to bodies and beyond. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. Also, the book of Colossians 1 verses 16 to 17 says the following. For by him were all things created, that are in heaven, and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones, or dominions, or principalities, or powers, all things were created by him, and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. These verses reaffirm this expansive reach, emphasizing that all things, whether visible or invisible, owe their existence to Christ and are subject to the resurrection power inherent in Him. Hallelujah! Indeed, the scope of the resurrection power transcends mere life and death. It serves as the bedrock of our justification, the evidence of Christ's triumph over death, and the conduit through which we are united with Him. It affirms the truth of Scripture, validates Christ's divinity, and instills within believers a living hope. Prayer becomes a conduit through which we plug into this resurrection power, activating its transformative influence in our lives. It empowers us to defy the grip of death, infuse life into the lifeless, and render impotent any destructive force. Ultimately, the most potent weapon known to humanity is not found in the realms of electricity, nuclear energy, or natural phenomena. It is the power of resurrection, coupled with the voice of resurrection, which holds sway over life, death, and all that lies between. You need to connect to the resurrection power of Jesus. To connect, you must do the following. 1. 
Surrender your life to Jesus Christ. 2. Repent from all known sins. 3. Learn how to control and tame your tongue. 4. Have violent faith. 5. Participate in the leading prayers. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, these are not just ordinary prayers. This is because as you truly and humbly pray, there are specific angels assigned to each of these prayer points. Now, first I want you to take these special prayers before delving into these potent prayer of resurrection. 1. Any dead person, that is tying me down, release me now, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 2. Garment of nakedness and shame, I am not your candidate, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 3. Finger of the wicked, come out of my body now, in the name of Jesus. 4. Curses from the head of my mother, curses from the head of my father, I am not your candidate, die, die, die in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 5. Powers, determined to make me cry, your time is up, die, in Jesus' name. 6. Powers, expanding my battles, today, die, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 7. Holy Ghost, arise, deliver me from satanic detention, in Jesus' mighty name I pray, Amen. Brother and sisters in the Lord, now you're free to go. Boldly take these following prayers in a machine gun style, with an enough is enough attitude. 1. Thou power, of resurrection, incubate my life now, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 2. Wind of resurrection, Blow upon my dry bones now, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 3. I plug my life, into the resurrection power, by the power in the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. 4. By the power of resurrection, it is my time to laugh, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 5. Power of resurrection fall upon my, marriage, career, business, etc., in the name of Jesus. 6. Power of resurrection, fall upon my head now, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. 7. Power of resurrection, fall upon my chest, in Jesus' mighty name. 8. Power of resurrection, catapult my destiny, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ I pray, Amen. Children of the Most High God, we kindly urge you to pray these prayers intensively, for the next three days, believing strongly in the mysteries of God's ability to change things around. We also urge you to pay attention to the above conditions, under which God will answer us speedily. Kindly share this wonderful video with your friends and families, and our good Lord will bless you mightily as you do so, in Jesus' name. Shalom.